Well, the Chaz, man, uh, let, let, let's get into that back in the mix, man. Just, just, just talk about, like, you know, uh, what inspired you to get get out here and drop a project? What, you know what I'm saying? What what was the recording process like? And, you know what I mean? Just talk about the whole, you know, the whole project. I'm going to kind of speed it up, but, you know, uh, basically, you know, it all started, I had the uh, interview with Temple, and that's what we were talking about earlier. And, um, <laughs> it happened fast, bro. Yeah. That shit, um, you know, long so short, I had, uh, my manager was with me, and, um, you know, we had a friend that was with us at, at the same time, and, um, basically, you know, she had asked me to, basically, you know, Use my car to go pay a phone bill. So we in the interview with Ann, with Temple, Kelly, you know, doing whatever. I'm singing, um, she asked me to sing something. So I sing some old school shit. I actually remember uh, I song uh, Jagged Edge, uh, uh, can't remember the song right now. I Gotta Be, that was what it was. I song that, I Gotta Be. Um, and uh, you know, you know, we finished the interview, you know. She was tapping in with me, she was like, Chad, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you drop your shit, come back and talk to us, whatever, whatever. Um, DJ such and such, he he knew Fort Valley. Shout out DJ such and such. He real. He a real one. Yeah. I'ma tell you about that too. He a real one. Um, he was just like, Yeah, you know, bro, I got a sister that goes to Fort Valley right now and shit and I heard about your type shit, you know what I'm saying? Keep doing your thing. Whatever, whatever. So we get out. Find out, you know, long story short, you know, my manager called, you know, his friend, and basically, you know, she, uh, you know, wrecking my car mm -hmm. that I drove so that I was to do the interview with. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so it, at, at the same time, I was supposed to be doing a session within an hour after the interview. Wow. Um, and it's a whole story in the back of the mix. But, uh, you know, basically, you know, we got outside and my manager was like turned up, mad, hell, you know what I'm saying? I'm calm. Cause like, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I, I, I learned one thing, bro, and I learned through, I learned this through my granddad, you know what I'm saying? My, I call him my papa, you know what I'm saying? He, he just always been calm in this real serious moments. And I was just like, bro, you know, when he told me he read, when he, when he told me she read the car, I was like, the first thing I said, I was like, she okay? He was like, yeah, she okay, you know, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? She got to um, go to jail, whatever, whatever. So I was like, you know, we're trying to do whatever we do can to get her out. She was, he, he was like, well, it's going to take a, a, a couple hours to get processed. I'm like, bitch. The studio session was paid for already. I had paid it up in advance. And um, he was like, bro, my manager, you know what I'm saying? Like, he knew this shit, but I called him my manager. And like, bro, we can't go to no studio session right now, man. I'm like, fuck that, nigga. We're going to the studio session. You cut that out with up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, bro, we're going to the studio, bro. I'm like, shit, I just lost my car. I'm like, I ain't tripping on nothing, but I'm finna go to the studio. He like, bet, you know. And it's pouring down raining in Atlanta at the time, nigga. It's February 6th. I remember the date like it's nothing. Yeah. And DJ Sussex said, pull up. He like, bro, y'all boys all right? Y'all go. I'm kind of off. I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We like, we straight, bro. We Gucci. We got an Uber coming to get us. We up under the security pole at the time, in they spot. You know, he was like, all right, bro, y'all hit me. I need anything. Shout out to Nick. Real talk. Yeah, real. So he did that. Yeah, real talk. Um, he um, probably know you, my boy. He don't. But, um, <laughs> That's crazy. He was like, uh. He did all my open mic. He DJ every open mic I did. Yeah. <laughs> And he was like, shit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know y'all need anything. And I got his number. I just didn't hit him. So uh, her homeboys end up sending us an uh, Uber. So we going to, I went, we was on Metropolitan at the time. We end up going to a uh, nigga house in Ellenwood. But this nigga done got a Grammy. His name is Lex. He got a Grammy out for, uh, Producing on Chrisette Michelle or writing. I don't want to speak on it too much because I don't know what it is that term. But he got a Grammy off of Chrisette Michelle record. And, um, you know what I'm saying? We, we recording his file. 
were her homeboys. Her homeboy engineer and take photos, shot of the black card, you know, two, three, all of them. And um, basically, you know, I made, that's when, no cap, I recorded a song before I recorded Player Shit. That's what's on, it's on my album right now. It's featuring Scotty George, Nate, whatever I want to call it. But um, I was just like, you know, uh, and I was just like, bro, I just need something to like, you know, get my mind off this shit. So I recorded some shit and then my manager had got this beat. He sent me the beat off YouTube. And he was like, bro, I want you to record all this beat so bad, I think you're gonna go crazy on it. Yeah. And it was player shit. Yeah. And you know, first thing I was on that shit was I ain't write to it nothing. Let me be real. I told him I wrote to it, but I ain't write to it or nothing. I made yeah. it I made up everything in the studio. Yeah. And I was just like, you know, I you know I keep it so player, you know what I'm saying? So and I was just like, you know, came the shit, boom, boom, boom. Came up to it, you know, we finished the session. We left, we was trying to get her out and shit, but she ended up being up a little longer. You know what I'm saying, she out now, shout out to whatever. Basically that situation, I had a situation, you know, really just made me get back into my music shit. And I was just like, you know, you know I'm finna drop an album. Yeah. I told my manager, I was like, bro, I'm finna drop an album, bro, this year. He was like, bro, let's do it, you know. And, um, I was, it's crazy that week, I was trying to get a studio session with one of my partners in the A. It wasn't going through. And shout out my nigga Papa Miliato, he on my album as well. Um, the song number four called Drop Top Charlotte. He just, I'm, I'm in the house, I'm, I took off this weekend because I'm thinking I'm going to the A. Yeah. And I'm just like, damn, I ain't got shit going. So I'm in the house by myself, and I'm just like, fuck. Bro hit me like, bro, what you want? I'm like, shit, nothing, bro. I'm trying to go to the studio. That's exactly what I said. And he was like, shit, we can go tonight. He was like, bro, shit. Um, and I was just off that date. He was like, we can go tonight, bro. There's nothing. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. And um, he was like, shit, bro, I'm going to hit you back. And let's, let me know what you say. I did my first session with a nigga from Atlanta, his name uh, Wordplay in Marietta. And nobody wanna go, you know what I'm saying, his name at Wordplay, at I Wordplay mm -hmm. on IG, hit him up. He one of the best sounding niggas that I done heard, you know. And I've been recording with this nigga and, you know what I'm saying, his engineers for a, a lifetime. So I know it sound good, but yeah. this nigga real cold. Yeah. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Back in the mix, we just got, started coming off that. I recorded like three songs that day. And we went we went every other week at the time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This from, honestly, March to July. And honestly, I was like, you know what I'm saying? I see the album coming. At first, I was going to drop 10 songs. I was like, nah, I need some more real shit. So I started recording a little bit more. I got four more songs on there. Oh, yeah, I feel you. Or, or back in the mix out right now, man. I make mix. sure y'all go get what, what? Back in the mix, everywhere. Yeah. Live entertainment. Bitch. Sorry, I'm rolling weed. Yeah. It's all the time. Shit. <laughs> vibe entertainment, you know what I'm saying? We trying to get some shit started. Or, well, I mean, we already been doing this shit, but. Or, what, 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 what's on the table, like, you know what I'm saying, for the year coming up, 2021, man? Like. What y'all got coming and shit? I told you, man. I'm just gonna go full, full fledged CEO mode. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna. Can, can the people still expect music from you, like coming in the future? Oh yeah, and shit I got too? um EP coming out. I don't have dates, man. I just drop when I want to. Scotty, Scotty too hot to coming. You know what I'm saying? Um, we gonna drop a vibe um compilation with everybody on the label. Well. Um. He just got his album out. Um, my boy Eleven dropping this Friday. Yes, sir. Next Friday, I mean, yeah, next Friday. Yeah. Another you that's coming out. Yes, sir. So probably by the time you drop this, it might be out. So another you out right now. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, man, we just working, man. That's what we working on. Yeah, man. We finna give y'all, we finna give y'all this content. Oh. That we should have been giving y'all. That sure. I should have been giving y'all. Back in the midst of my and the video out right now. You know what I'm saying? That too. We got some more videos come from here, project. 
Uh, I got a video coming out probably in the next week and a half, honestly. Shout out to, uh, if anybody want videos in Middle Georgia or Georgia in period, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to, uh, It's Maisha, at It's Maisha, Maisha Walker. Coldest, one of the coldest videographers, photo, whatever you want to call it. She's a, she the goat with the camera right now. Exactly. Real talk. Go do like, your song. Do your song. Run your Holla. numbers up. For sure. Do a video. Holla. Then come do an interview. Yeah. For real. Shit coming crazy, uh, actually right now, I should be at a thousand views, I was like four to three views away from a thousand, I just dropped my video yesterday, right. so um, I should be at a thousand views for Back in the Mix, the actual song, right. the album going crazy, you know, I've been getting a lot of feedback from it, right. you know what I'm saying, I got my brother Scotty Jordan on it, I got my brother Eleven, by, you know, uh, Mike, Mike Banks, yeah, uh, R&B singer, Cole, uh, my brother Papa Millie out there. You know what I'm saying? He cold. He come from a background of just cold niggas, you know what I'm saying? Your dad was signed to Nas. You know, she a cold nigga too. Half a meal. His dad was half a meal. Half a meal. Real talk. Keep it so player. I told my girl I call her later. 